Okay, all right. So, anyways, this is a bot. I wrote the bot. My name's Gary D. Um, that's me. You'll see my avatar on the screen in a moment. Now, you don't see me on the webcam because in California, it's like 100 degrees today in the Bay Area, and I don't have a shirt on. And that would just be way too sexy. So, for uh, your safety and for the safety of humanity, uh, my mic is kind of... Incidentally, this mic occasionally cuts out, so that probably won't happen again. Uh, or will. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's me. You see me on the screen here, my avatar. Anyways, that's what the, exactly what the camera view would look like, except uh, no shirt. So, anyways, this is my bot. I wrote it. It runs on YouTube. I said, mic cutting out again? I think, I think it is. Or oh, the headphones are. Anyways, uh, I wrote the bot. It's uh, a YouTube bot. It's in, uh, runs on a Raspberry Pi, and uh, takes your commands from, uh, from chat and then does things in the bot. So for instance, I just typed uh, status, and I can't tell if the mic is cutting out or my headphones, one or the other is. Give me a second there. Well, it's the headphones, that's fine then. Um, so anyways, uh, this is the bot. Uh, you type commands in the bot and uh, it does stuff, so basic bot. How does it work? Uh, a bunch of back-end stuff I'm not going to talk about today. But um, we, we are going to talk about is this mode of the bot. Now, um, the bot has like a bunch of different themes and stuff like that, like visual layouts, and this visual layout is much more than just a visual layout. Some of the other ones are just visual layouts, but this one is an entire like self-encompassed 3D sandbox. It's sort of in a Minecrafty style in that you stack boxes, and that's how you build things in here. <coughs> now, uh, anybody can build in here, you just come in, although there are some, like, some limitations based on your, um, you know, membership level and stuff, and we'll talk about that later. These are all implemented, you know, directly by the bot, as I said. In case you're curious, a way old version of the bot is on GitHub, but um, you should avoid that version. I hope to have another version out by the end of the month, that is to say by um, October. So, that includes this. The version on GitHub um, actually still contains the basic bottery, but doesn't have uh, this mode. Just for instance, you know, I'll show you like one of the other modes, and these are called themes in the system, but I'm about to change the, the naming conventions throughout. But this other theme, uh, to which I've just changed, uh, to do that you type theme, and then it gives you a list of choices. This other theme here is like a D&D &D layout where you can change um, backgrounds and monsters and stuff, and there's actually a whole collection of um, <coughs> what they call SRD statistics for D&D. &D. Yes, I'm a nerd. Um, so, uh, I forgot how it works. Anyways, there's instructions for it um, in there. I've already gotten way off track. There's another one here, for example, another one here called, um, another theme called Space. That's just like a 3D space thing. Oh, there you go. It's actually setting up a fight between two characters, but we're not going to wait for that to happen. Now, this other uh, theme, you know, uh, also uses, sorry, also uses 3.js uh, uh, in order to implement a sort of 3D scene. It's kind of procedurally generated, but that's not really been exposed yet. Anyways, digression. So, a bunch of different themes on here. Most are just visual layouts. This other one, however, the new one, Sandbox, the one which currently occupies all my um, development attention for the project, um, as a 3D sandbox, as previously explained, and the topic of today's stream. So when you run Theme Sandbox, this is what you get. It's a skybox for now, although it's not going to be a skybox permanently. And I'm just going to jump right in, so go into the chat in the stream. Go to youtube.com slash drone sound tv slash live. 
and you'll find that Yuri in the chat. Now, um, if you want, you can subscribe, click the sub subscribe button, and then also run the sub command. And I'm not going to run it because I already have. But if you run the sub command, it will kind of increase your access levels to stuff. But you'll you'll see when it becomes relevant later. So get in the chat and start typing what I'm about to type. So type POS. That stands for pause position. And uh, you will also find that that um, that that. Uh, information. This information is also referenced in the description, and also if you just type sandbox or SB, which is short for sandbox, if you just type sandbox, it'll give you a it'll give you a pointer to uh, some pastebin documentation as well, and probably this video. So, anyways, when you type pause, it tells you where you are on the screen. This is a 3D world, and rather than explaining how the coordinates work, it's probably easier just to show you. Um, now, I'm going to actually switch to a back-end utility that allows me to see, show you when I type on the screen. You'll be able to see what I'm typing. Okay. Okay, there. So, um, you'll see my text on the screen there. <coughs> now on with this utility, whatever commands I type, they'll be the same commands that you can type in chat, except they'll appear on the screen. So when I type pause, it says that the recorder's position is negative 1300, negative 500, negative 800. And you know what? I don't even look at these numbers because you'll see why you don't need them. Now, um, if you type pause, it will also give you instructions on how to use it and some example syntax. But I'm going to run through the basics. So if you want to move to the center of the world, just type pause center. If you want to know where you are, just type pause, and it will give you your current position. Um, pause center moves you to the center of the world that is zero, zero, and zero, so to speak. So um, you can move around using uh, compass coordinates like north, south, east, west, and up and down. So when I type pause west, um, and again, you would just type this directly in chat, and you'll find that your um, little, we call this a, a built cursor, you'll find that your built cursor moves to the west. That's a little difficult for it to see that it's moved since um, we have nothing to compare it to. We will momentarily. When you type pause up, it will move up, and um, how far does it move up? Well, it moves up one box distance, right? So you get why I say that coordinates are not really relevant. You don't really need that. You, you can just think in terms of like stacking boxes in one direction or another. And that's really the most convenient way to use it. Now you can also add a variety of modifiers to it. So for instance, you could type pause up um, x6 and it will go up six times. So this will save you having to type pause up repeatedly, so you don't have to do that. Uh, you can also, for instance, combine them. You can say pause uh, up and north at the same time, right? And this will move you up and north, so it'll move you diagonally, right? And Or say I wanted to go back, I could do like pause down south, which sounds funny, um, like say times six, and then we'll go down and backwards diagonally by a distance of six boxes. <coughs> Pardon me, this is really hot here today. Super hot back here in the studio slash laboratory slash laundry room. <laughs> okay, so um, so now you get how to use pause. Incidentally, as an aside, you can use um, S uh, for south, and you can also use like E for east. Uh, incident, uh, another variant, you could do 8X instead of X8 or something. So those both work the same. Whatever works best for you. Uh, so there I just did pause S, E, 8X. Mind you, there's a, a space between each of those, please. Uh, I'm working on making it so you don't need a space, but for the moment, please, please use the space. I'm going to put some background music on. Hold on here. Okay, so um, that's how to move around, right? Um, about 
reset. So I, I showed you before where you, you noticed there was a bunch of stuff when we first started and all that stuff is gone. Um, you know, you'll see how to save your own stuff. That's not really where I'm going with this. But, but you might think like, oh, I want to go back to the center. Then you type reset. That doesn't move you back to the center. Every user's position and build activities are independent at all times. So you don't really need to use reset um, except to clear the whole sandbox. And I'm actually going to put the system in charge of that pretty soon. So anyways, but once you do make a bunch of stuff and you want to reset the system, just clear the sandbox. You can type reset. Um, here, I'll do it now. But you don't really need to is the point. Okay, so uh, okay, so we got the pause stuff. I'm not sure if you can use D for down. Let me see, pause D times seven. If not, I'll 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 write that in pretty soon. I should have done, done a direction so I could see what's going down. I don't think so. I I think you have to type down. Sorry. Okay, no. So I'm going to move back to the center. And we're going to make a box, okay? Actually, first I'm going to move up and out of people's way a little bit. I like to, like, in case a, a user comes in and they start building things at the center. You might wish to observe this etiquette as well. So, the easiest box to make, and it's kind of fun, I like to say, as a whole world in this system, type box me. And that's a little hard to tell with this cursor, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to also move to the east. But you'll see it's actually, um, it's made a box that looks like, uh, like, you know, me, so to speak, so to speak. So that's the, uh, the first box you can make. It's just called box me. And, uh, you might be wondering if you can combine this with directions, and yes, give yourself a cookie, because you're correct. We can go box east, um, up times six. Uh, sorry, box me. It will always be box and then the texture. Okay, so box me up east times six. And again, you'll note that I'm typing the full word, but that's just for clarity. And I'm a typist, so I don't mind. Now you can also use, like, for example, colors, like box red down times five. So you get why if Initially, you were looking at this and going, it's not practical to build stuff. Well, first of all, north, west, up, times, six. First of all, uh, it's clearly um, from the things that you'll see, uh, other things built in the system like that right there, that, um, that it is practical to build for more complex objects. So, using these techniques. And again, it's like, um, well, that's my first time mentioning it here, but elsewhere I've, I've gone on extensively about how the design of this system is like really specific to deal with this problem, right? I mean, one, it's a live stream, so there's a 30 second delay. Two, you're probably using it on a tiny mobile device with a little tiny input area. And, uh, and, and three, like the cost for like a syntax error or something like that is quite high if you have to redo all of it. And there's no like, arrow mechanism in most chat interfaces so it, it's designed in such a way that you can you know like do little bits of it at a time so you set your position and you sort of draw lines or whatever there's also in the background what sounds like a box full of crickets but that's actually the fan on my power supply um, poor sucker's about to go any minute um, but Okay, so, sorry about that. Anyway, so you might be wondering what else uh, can you do in terms of boxes? Well, for you geeky people out there, you can uh, do RGB colors if you like. So, for instance, uh, so there's a, there should be a line of purplish stuff right there. And uh, actually what I like to do with this for some reason, I don't know why, I just think it looks really cool, this uh, grayscale stuff just looks really cool. Because you have access to all the gray tones, so you have a lot of, you know, subtlety. 
So um, for that syntax, you use box, and then again you would use the color or texture or whatever, but in this case, you do uh, 0x, please do 0x first, and then your regular RGB color specification. And of course, you may combine that with directions as well, as previously stated. At, at this point, actually, I'm just playing. I'm just playing with my toy. That's why this stuff is really all for me. Actually, I like I like this stuff. Um, I'm a huge, well, former for like ten years, by the way, former second lifer, by the way. Um, so, what kind of stuff can you, um, what kind of textures do you have access to? Good question, viewer. Well, if you type textures, then the textures will appear on the screen. Pardon me, these are not listed elsewhere because um, they change all the time. And you will even have the power to change them into different collections. And to add them, and the system will generate them, and other things like that. In any case, this is how you see them. Now, they're only shown momentarily, but rewind and pause are both enabled on the stream, so you can use that to pick out which ones you want to use. Okay, with those basics out of the way, I'm actually going to, uh, let me move back to the center here. Okay, so I've uh, moved the uh, cursor position up a little bit. That's me right there. So that's my build position. I was thinking, what's next? Okay, so there are these things. So um, there are some. There's some stuff you have access to. Um, you'll see later. I'll show you some of the more complex models that are built. Those more complex models are built with the scripting capabilities, and uh, you have some access to them. Um, so, to begin, so we call this your, your build macro. So each user has their own build macro, um, which is just a script in the same way as the other scripts on the system, which we'll see in operation later. Okay, first about your script, um, type plus plus um, in the chat in order to reset your script. And uh, that should reset, yes, set. wait, does that work? I might have to, one moment. How do you do this? All right, okay. That might not work for this account. Okay, there we go. Da 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 Is that really gonna work? Hmm. You know, actually I might not be able to demonstrate this on here. It, it's it's a technicality. It's because the account under which I'm doing this stuff is not actually have it's not a real account. But let, let me see. So in order to add to your basically your macro works like this. Simply run your regular commands, like if you wanted to position yourself to the east times two. And then you wanted to box lava west times two. Right? So these are the commands I'm running. And I don't know why I'm doing this. And then you want to like box white up. Right? So then you've been there. You've made this little ugly object or whatever. <laughs> Say you wanted to repeat that object. Um, actually, let me do this one more. Pause up. That'll make it more interesting. Say you wanted to repeat that sequence over and over again. So type plus plus to clear your macro. Right? And, you know what, I don't think it actually works for this account. I'm going to do this under the Gary D account. Which you will see on here, but not in, not in there. Um, but anyways, I'll type it in here anyways. And just type your same commands that you were going to do before. Do a plus, but do a plus in front of them. And do you put a space or not? Let me see. Uh, yeah, put a space, please. Uh, it's probably tolerant, but put a space. So do like box, you know, plus box uh, lava east times two. Oops, crap. I accidentally typoed and it did 23. Um, don't tw try that because you are probably limited to something reasonable like nine. Anyways, I'll do box east 
uh, times times two. Box lava east times two. Now, another thing, this will give me a chance to notice, because we've been watching this build demo account on the screen. Um, when there are multiple users doing things, the camera will just kind of switch over to whoever's doing the most recent thing. Um, so, you know, like, uh, don't be freaked out by that. And we're working on better camera operations, but I haven't really figured out how to do that yet. Okay, so, and I typed, um, and I typed this. I'm just typing this additionally so that you can see what's going on. And then I typed this. Box white up. And then this. Plus pause up. So um, when multiple users are operating, or sometimes the system might be doing something, um, then the camera will switch around, but don't let that freak you out. It'll switch back to you if you do something. So, anyways, so that's it. That's our macro. We now have a macro um, in there. Um, you'll note, every time that I added, um, you know, a plus sign uh, to the command, it told me how many lines were in the macro. And it says there's four lines in the macro. It says, okay, Gary D, added line to your macro. Actually, is what it says. I'm going to paste it in here. That's what it says. You'll you see it on the screen right there. So now your macro is here. It'll stay here. You can leave. You can come back. It doesn't really matter. It'll be there forever. I, well, not forever. Okay, no guarantees. But it shouldn't go anywhere unless I obsolesce the syntax or something like that. <coughs> okay, so now to run it, <laughs> I was stalling because I have to look up how the hell to run it. It's in the it's in the description. Oh, run mine. Okay, so now like the cool thing is, see, check this out. So now I can run, move to the center. I'm moving to the center of the screen, and um, I can do run run mine, right? And it will run Gary D's macro. And uh, so I can like bop around the screen, like move over here and run my macro, move over there and run my macro. You get it? Additionally, I'll point out you don't have to worry like. You don't have to wait for the video stream or even the chat stream, which is much faster than the video stream. You don't have to wait for that to like catch up before you do what you want to do. Um, things are commands are executed in order, um, in the order that they're received. It doesn't matter if there's a bunch of people going. I mean, it's a bot. That's what it's supposed to do. So, um, so it, it queues them up. And even if you see occasionally, you see like if there's a bunch of stuff going on. Your, uh, your command might, you know, get queued. It might, it'll get queued up, but they'll still get queued up in order, and they'll be executed when they get a chance in the queue. And the queue's not as fair as I would like it to be, but I'm working on it. So, um, anyway, so there you see, like, Gary bumping, uh, bopping all over the place, running his macro. So you just do run mine every time. Additionally, say you later decide you want to... Um, add to your macro, you just simply do plus plus and, and add to your macro. So you don't have to like recall it or anything like that. Another cool thing is like say that you wanted to do most of the commands that you can do in the in the 3D sandbox you can do in your macro. So <laughs> say that you wanted to see the textures, I don't know why you would want to, but say you wanted to see the textures. <laughs> Um, you could do uh, you could add that to your macro and and it will run that when it runs your macro. You get what I'm saying so and there's going to be a bunch of different more increasingly uh, different capabilities if you want them. Uh, you can type BG if you want to change the background ie the skybox. I'm just kind of jumping into random miscellaneous capabilities by the way. There's something like 40 sandbox uh, sand backgrounds in there, so uh, every time you type BG, it, it chooses a random one. So keep typing BG anytime you want. That's cool. I dig that. Later on, you won't have access to as many of these commands. They'll be controlled by the system and such. You'll see. 
this would be much more like an environment or like a 3D world where you are kind of plopped into one place and you're trying to get to different places. You'll see, it's really cool. There's already other parts of the system that that make it such um, make it such that these that you'll see. I'm really integrating. There's an existing game called Door in the system already, which is going to become the game for this thing. Anyways, okay, so there's macro stuff. Um, there's some more in the description and also in the pastebin file. As I said, if you type SB or Sandbox, um, it will give you a link to a pastebin, some additional information. Let's see what else there is. I'm looking through the description right now. Not all of these commands do stuff all the time, so maybe take note of that. Also, um, you will have noted I don't type the commands in uppercase. They're shown in uppercase in many of the documentation. That's just for convenience so that they stand out, obviously. Aliases. Okay, say you don't want to type box every time. That's cool. You don't have to. There are other ways. You could type uh, slash and a space, I think. For some reason, I really love this lava texture. I'm put that lava texture all over the place. Is it? Does it need a space? Or is it slash lava? What did I do with that syntax? Hey, I broke that syntax. Um, okay, no space. Just slash and then the thing. So like slash glass east times five. Another thing, this is cool. Uh, you don't ha really have to type out the whole uh, name because that gets tedious. So uh, you could do like slash cob L for cobblestone and do up times five. And it'll, it'll find it so long as there aren't multiple matches for C-O-B-B-L, right? So I just did slash, here, here's what I typed, I did slash C-O-B-B-L up times five. And I put in cobblestone, right? Okay, so now that you've seen, like, you can do, like, a, a macro, right? Here, I'm going to reset that. I'm going to reset the sandbox. Now, again, I'm going to have to do this under the Gary D account. Um, so you'll see some of the syntax in that little bubble, but, but not all of it. But by now, you should be accustomed to what's coming on. Okay, so for instance, here's how I made a road with this, okay? You do, and I, I, I always, you'll see, I type my commands in long form. Um, don't let that phase you, you know, it's just because I wrote it, and that's how, I, that's how I've always typed it. But you could use the slasher or, or whatever, whatever other syntax options are going to be supported. Okay, so here's how I do it. Um, I start in the center, and I do like pause west times two, right? Yeah. And I add that to my macro. Is it a space? Yeah, okay. Yeah, a space is fine, apparently. And then you do a uh, box grass right here. I'm going to put a grass box right here. And I'm adding each of these to my macro. And then I'm going to put a, um, let's see. Uh, a mud mud box to the west yeah so plus box mud west now there's a um, oh did I go west I meant to go east all right reset I didn't have to do that okay so here's what I'm gonna do I reset my macro now I have to edit this damn it so there's probably there's more efficient ways of doing this, by the way. I just don't want to obfuscate it. So I go west, and then I do a plus. So my macro is, I reset it. Now I do plus, pause west, times two. Now I do plus, um, box, grass, right, a grass box on the outside. Then I do plus, box, mud, east. I'm drawing to the east is what I'm doing here. Then I do plus, box, Cobble east. So I'm going to put a, a box to the east. But I'm also going to go down. And then I do plus box cobble east. 
You see, I've kind of drawn this out in my head already first. And again, I do plus box. Um, what was on the other side of that? Was it mud or was it grass? I think it was just grass. Oh, right, mud up east. And uh, visitor, Mr. Fire, is applying for mud on the screen, on the stream. Hey, there's a, uh, I don't know, incidentally, why people want that. Then I do plus box cobble east. Someone explain to me why people want that. By the way, there's a mod command in the bot. I'm just, uh, I'm just screwing with you. It's like, I think it's a rickroll or something. <laughs> okay, so then here's what I do, actually, which is very clever with this. So if you've, like, moved in your macro, then, like, move back to where you were. So to move back to where I was, I would go west. So I do plus, pause, west, times one, two, three, times three, okay? Okay, now I got my macro, right? So then check this out. The cool part is I can do, um, I could do, well, I'm going to add one more line to my macro. It's pause. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so then check this out. Now I can do pause north, right? Without the macro. And then I do run mine, and it'll draw like a slice of road. You get it? So then I can do like pause northwest you know, up and run mine, and it'll just keep, like, building parts of the road. You get it? Like, you get it? Each time I just keep doing run mine, and it'll build a slice of road. And you may have seen, there's a thing on here, there's a script on here called, um, I'm going to run it right now. It's called uh, Temple of Bat. Anyways, if you run the Temple of Bat script, you'll you'll see it build a road using basically this same capability as well as a temple and a bat. <laughs> so I'm going to run that right now. Anyways, I think I, I just about covered the main stuff. There's some additional stuff for super elite users, um, which I'm not going to cover here, but like loading and saving models. Um, but, uh, you know, so, okay, so there we go. So it's building the temple of the bat right now. And it uses the same capabilities that, that as I've covered here to some extent. And also the uh, uh, model loading capability. So you see the cursor just moving around like loading pieces of road. And this is how you build a whole scene and a whole environment with these minimal capabilities. You can think of it as like a, it's kind of like a small tool wrapped in a bigger tool wrapped in a bigger, oh uh, wait, okay. It was innuendos, innuendoed. Well, I think I just about got it there. And that's uh, just about everything. Um, again, type uh, SB at any time in the sandbox for the most uh, recent instructions or sandbox. I'm interested in feedback from people who are from users or people who have tried to use it. Please let me know, like, you know, how things should change. I'm particularly interested in what, what the needs are in terms of accommodating the stream delay and the, the interface limitations. One thing I'm working on is a new draw command, so that, because I think it's very common that you're just setting one texture over and over, and you just want to move and keep drawing the same texture. So I'm working on a syntax that would be something like, you know, um, uh, you know, something like pen, grass. And then that would set grass as your pen. And then you would just go draw it up north. And it would just use grass automatically, and you wouldn't have to say box grass. Let me know what you think um, about that. So, anyways, thank you very much for everybody who's tried it out and everyone who's checked out the project. Um, please share it with your friends. I'm trying to get some support for this thing um, for... Uh, various reasons. So actually one thing I'd really like to get to a thousand subs and then we could have uh, uh, various ways that you could contribute to support the project. Right now I don't really have any capabilities for that. If you're interested in uh, some of the other things that happen on the uh, channel, uh, you can check out Die Master Monkey on YouTube and elsewhere. That's the stage name under which most of this operates usually. 
anyways thanks a lot for checking out this video um, and I hope you have a great day and uh, head over to dronesound uh, youtube.com slash dronesound tv slash live and uh, try out your newfound um, expertise in making 3d stuff and make cool stuff and uh, and it's cool I'll feature you in a video it'll be cool so thanks for tuning in and uh, as we say around here stay true stay low uh, monkey out.